The Rails console is a powerful tool that allows you to work with your models directly without having to worry about the controllers and the views. You can try things out, watch your models interact, and poke and prod them to see if they do what they should. Let's go to the command line and see how we can use it. So here I'm in the command line. Notice that I'm in the root of my application. That's very important. You have to be in the root of your application to run the Rails console. And before I start the Rails console, I'm first going to start up IRB. That's Interactive Ruby that just comes with Ruby. And I'll launch that and just show you that it's basically just a calculator. One plus one, but I can also call methods like hello.upcase.reverse. Okay, so that again is just Ruby by itself. Let me exit out of that. And now let's open up Rails console. Rails console. Now I have a shortcut. I can also just type Rails C and get the same thing. I'm going to type out the full long version instead of the shortcut. So Rails console will launch the Rails console, which will load up our Rails development environment into an IRB-like calculator. So we have IRB with Rails available. So we still have one plus one. And we still have hello.upcase.reverse. But now we also can do subject equals subject dot new, right? Bring up a new subject object. So we have the ability to work with all of our models, to populate them, to save them, to update them. Everything that you would want to do, we can do right here from the Rails console. It can be a very powerful tool. It's also useful if you need to do some data entry into the database. You can go through this interface, create an object, populate it with all the right attributes, and save it to the database. And it keeps us from either having to go to the database directly or from having to create a web page so that we can work with these models. Now notice here that it loaded up the development environment. That's the default environment that it loads up into. If you want to use a different environment, then you just put the name of the environment right after console. So Rails space console space development is the default. Rails space console space production if you're in a production environment. Rails space console space test if you're in test. The one thing you need to be very careful of is that if you're in your production environment, just because you're in the command line doesn't mean that it isn't using the production database. That's what it means when you're in the production environment, you're using the real live production database. So trying things out in that area might end up messing up your data on your production environment. In development, that's not really something you have to worry about. And then the last thing is just that when you're done, just like with ERB, you can exit out with just exit. Okay, now that we've seen the basics of the Rails console, we're ready to take a look at how we can create, read, update, and delete records with our active record models. We'll do that starting in the next movie.